Hi, so this is an update and some general observations about latent hyperopia and strabismus. So I'm thinking back to, in my own case, um, I was certainly never a sporty kid. Um, like if someone put me outside and said, go play, I mean, I would do it, but my natural inclination was to be indoors, glued to a book. And um, I certainly gave up PE as soon as was humanely possible. Um, and that's kind of what I've been like. You know, I will certainly go out for a walk, um, but I tend to be indoors more of the time. Um, so it, it really came to, to light when I was doing my call centre job uh, quite a few years ago now. Um, and I was starting to get the eye strain. And I, w I was noticing that, you know, even if I so much as looked down the road, on, on the day that I was walking to work, then it would be harder for me when I got to work having to look at the screen than it, than it was if I actually walked down the road, li literally with my face to the wall. Um, and I know one, one weekend um, I went out, I went out for a long, long walk in the country and I came back and I picked up something, I don't know if it was a leaflet or a book or, um, but I, I couldn't see it, not, not even from here. And at that time, you know, I still had stupid opticians telling me I couldn't possibly be long sighted or, no, they were, they were just ignoring the question actually. Um, so there was a very clear divide um, if I wanted to function in work, then I just had to keep everything very, very close. Um, and if I did anything remotely healthy and active, then it was going to make it more difficult for me in work. So I, I think from early on I kind of had that going on a bit. Um, and obviously when I did get a sympathetic optician and I did get um, the right glasses so that I could be a lot more comfortable. That certainly did help out a lot. Um, but there has always been a little bit of a divide all, all the same. Um, it's got a lot better the last couple of weeks or so since I've started doing these exercises. Um, But my, my thinking is that um, obviously my eyesight may have impacted on my ability to be active in the first place. Um, now there, there is some research that has been done on children with really high latent hyperopia who don't develop a squint but they develop abnormal postures instead. And those children are not sporty either. Um, so it's kind of been a bit of a symbiotic thing. So my eyesight hasn't supported an active life. An active life has certainly not supported my eyesight. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can turn this around. Now that I have the glasses I need, um, now that I have some strategies that are, you know, and some insights that are helping me. So it is possible that if maybe now that I have those things, if I make that leap, to become more active and I even managed to invest in some gym shoes so that I can do all that sort of stuff whether it's going down the gym or 
you know, going off into the country for a nice walk. Um, so if I do that, that may actually bring on more of the long-sightedness that I have, um, which may in turn stabilise my vision so that um, I'm in a lot more control of uh, what, what's going on here. So I'm going to do that um, and that's something I'll be updating on along with my other updates. And just a final mention, I've got shoulders um, because of the exercises I've been doing. It's helped with my posture. Um, so I, I see a different kind of body shape when, when I look in the mirror and that is really, really great.